Hey, what's up? John Shred here, and uh, and today I am reviewing this guy. Uh, if you don't know what it is, it is an external graphics card, a Gigabit Aorus 3080. And you might be asking, John, why, why would you buy an external eGPU? I mean, what, like, why, 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 why? Stay tuned, I'll let you know. All right, welcome back. If you're new to the channel, I like to review new tech stuff. I like to talk personal finances, but most recently, it's just new video cards. Any chance I can to pick one up with the shortage is a blessing, and it's something that I love to share here uh, with you, the audience. So um, why did I buy one of these? It kind of popped up on an alert, and I said, hmm, no one's purchased it yet. Maybe there's a reason why, but why not? Let's grab it, we'll do a review, check it out, and see what it's all about. So, I got it, it's uh, quite, the, quite the box it uh, comes in. It's a pretty large and heavy apparatus. Um, and it actually comes with an interesting carrying case. Uh, all bright orange inside, even with a, a fancy strap. So, um, not really sure who's gonna lug this thing around, um, but um, yeah, first let's talk about, I mean the specs, it is a 3080 uh, that's inside here that is liquid cooled. They kinda, on the Gigabit website, they make it very evident, it's liquid cooled, very, very important. Um, Spoiler alert, I didn't really see any difference. It's whatever, the cooling's okay on it, but. Um, let's, let's talk about the unit itself. It is this big black unit. Uh, power button has, on the back you have your normal standard um, video card ports on there. The thing works with lightning bolt. Now I will, disclaimer, I have not used a lot of lightning bolt devices but I was very interested to know that there is no power button on this thing. So when I first connected it um, to this Alienware laptop, nothing happened. I, I plugged it in, it literally has a lightning bolt port and, and just nothing happened. I was like, oh, did I get a dud? Like, did, was it, yeah. So it didn't work and I was like, oh my God, what's going on? But. Let's back up a second. I mean, why would someone buy one of these? I mean, I have this Alienware here. It's four years old, maybe. It has a 1070 in it, um, an older i7 CPU. It, it's getting it's getting long in the tooth. Um, I've tried playing Warzone on it. It's okay. I get 25 to 30 frames per second. Um, at 1080p, it, it, it's not the best. So, I mean, why not get one of these, hook it up, and now I have a 3080 in an old laptop. I mean, it, it sounds doable. I mean, the cost of this is, oh, it was 16.99 Canadian, came out to like 1,900 bucks. That's just as much as if you were to go pay scalper prices for a 3080 right now. So yeah, I don't, I don't know. To me, I'm still on the fence of why you'd, you'd want to get these one, one of these. I mean, maybe if you used one of these old, like say if you had a MacBook Air that definitely has an integrated video card and you needed it to use it for something. Maybe some higher end graphics or some video editing, something where you needed some, some hardware acceleration, it might come into play, but let's just, talk straight up gaming, um, and we will get into a bit of mining to see how well it does. Okay, so um, back to back to me turning this thing on. So, I mean, at first, like I said, I connected it to this Alienware and, and nothing happened. I thought it was a dud. So I said, hmm, okay, let me grab the MacBook Air. Um, when I plugged in the MacBook Air, right away it turned on. These lights in the front only turn on, kind of get things going, the fans turn on, it's, it's, it's alive. Of course, I got into Mac OS X and I was like, what, what, what can I do? And 
my testing pretty much stopped there. I, I don't have a good testing software. Uh, Catzilla, which I normally use in the past, doesn't have Mac support. Um, if you have a good uh, GPU benchmarking solution for Mac OS X, please leave a comment below because I took a look and, and I didn't see, I saw a bunch of CPU stuff, but not specific to GPU that'll have some really nice rendering in it. So um, I kind of threw the MacBook Air away and said, okay, let's see what's going on with the Alienware uh, running Windows 10. Realized I didn't have any Thunderbolt drivers installed. So as soon as I installed the drivers, boom, it kicked the thing on, everything was, was kind of okay. It picked up, uh, I saw it in Device Manager as a 3080, but I couldn't use it. It wasn't until I updated to the latest NVIDIA drivers through GeForce Experience uh, that uh, after rebooting the computer with the newest drivers, it would pop up and there was almost like a little eGPU tray icon that would say, hey, you have two video cards in here, which one, which one do you want to use? Um, by default, it would use the 3080 for anything that I would I would try out. And um, so yeah, let's get into the benchmark to see how well it performed. Now, when it comes to benchmarks, I was using Catzilla 4K for the longest time, but they haven't really updated it. Uh, I'm very disappointed they haven't kept on top of that with, with kind of new, new updates for it. Um, and so I found Final Fantasy 14 benchmark tool, which I've been playing a bunch of Final Fantasy 14. By the way, today is December 3rd, which if you're playing Endwalker the, and you have pre-ordered it, you can start playing. Check that out tonight. But, so yeah, I'm gonna use the Final Fantasy 14 benchmarking tool, which seems to be uh, pretty good. So what I did first is I ran it against just the solid 1070 to see how that would work. I then connected it to the 3080 to see how that would work. And then I connected it with the 3080 using an external monitor as a second screen to see if that made any difference coming right out of the back of the unit into a monitor. It, it didn't, it didn't make any difference at all. So, but what were the numbers here? Let me find them here. Okay, so I, uh, I did the test at the native resolution first, which is like, it's stupid high and it's locked at like 3000 something resolution. And it wasn't a great test just cause I know it was pushing the CPU way too hard. So I did the test again at 1080p for both. And so on the 1070, it came up with a score of 12,700. On the 3080, it was 13,700. That's not a huge increase. And I was, kind of really disappointed. Um, so to me with that benchmark, was this worth the $2,000? No, not, not at all. Um, comparing to my machine, I have a, a 3080 in my machine, I'm running a Ryzen 5900X, I get a score of about 20,000. So it seems to be somewhat, we're, we're hitting a CPU bottleneck with this laptop when it comes to those scores. I'm sure the 3080 performs way better than the 1070. Uh, but when it comes to that benchmark, it did not. Okay, let's talk mining performance. Now, speaking of my 3080 that I have in my computer, my main computer, it's an MSI Gaming Z3080, the light hash rate version, the newer one. Um, and it it's not great. When I'm mining, I can get hash rates of between 50 to 58. It fluctuates quite a bit and it finds it even using G minor it it tends to get locked often and have to change it. On the other hand, this guy's much, much better. I was able to start mining with him and get numbers in the 70s, uh, 70 mega hash, which is pretty much exactly what the G minor light hash rate kind of like tool does. It'll set it at 73%. And it's pretty much getting bang on to 73% of what a hundred mega hash should be of what a 3080 can get. So. If you're mining and want to mine, I wonder if you could connect multiple external GPUs to a single computer. You'd have to have multiple lightning bolt ports. Anyway, I mean, maybe with a GPU shortage, this is the idea. I know on Canada computers, you could get these 
uh, quite easily, maybe that's uh, an option for the uh, for the miners out there. Uh, but for 2000 bucks, you can get a real 3080 for that price. So yeah, I don't, I don't know. I mean, it does saving you, uh, no, I don't know. Oh yeah, VRAM temps were eh, fluctuated between 90 and 100 Celsius with the fan running at 90%. So that's, that's pretty normal. I was really hoping the liquid cooled uh, system would work better, but it, it did. It wasn't any better at all. So just normal, normal temps. That's what, what you expect. Okay, so uh, we talked benchmarking with gaming. Um, like if you matched it with a faster CPU, it would probably perform better. But I think the whole idea is that you buy one of these to use with an older laptop. Or I mean, I guess if you had a really fast new uh, i7 processor, but integrated graphics, you could toss this in and then you might still be able to game or work with it. But yeah, mining wise, it's okay. I still do not know why someone would buy one of these. Um, if you know why, or you have a, a good reason uh, why you as an individual would use one, please leave a comment below because um, yeah, I still don't think it's worth the extra cost unless it's a very specialized situation. And personally, I will try and sell this thing the moment I stop recording this video. So thank you for watching. Uh, this is an odd one. I don't get this type of uh, you know device every day, um, but I do have a new 3080, uh, an Asus ROG that just came in the mail. Um, I used to have one of those, check out my original videos, a version one that I got rid of. Oh, and this is, this is the new version two. So, I would like to compare that to the MSI Gaming Z that I have in my machine right now. So uh, yeah, stay tuned for, uh, for more videos. Thanks.